Hey everybody, Pop700, and today we have another upgrade for Chuck, my wrestler VXL. And it is going to be the Proline uh, Bulldog Body. I've seen this on some other people's videos. Um, I saw it on Proline's website, and I decided I really want one of these things, and I ended up getting it for Christmas. So, that was really nice. So yeah, this is the clear body for the electric wrestler, and so, yeah. Uh, I don't exactly know how I'm going to paint this one yet, but uh, I'm thinking I'm not going to do something, I'm not going to do anything too fancy just because I really don't want to screw this body up because it's a really nice body, and it seems like I have this habit of screwing bodies up. Like, I've never really had a painted body come out. I wanted it to, but that was, well, one time I did actually paint the body for my wrestler. I used the wrong paint, so, and that turned out terribly, so, yeah. All right, so we have the body, and we've got a bunch of stickers. So we'll open the decal sheet of craziness. Yeah. Okay, so we have Proline's little, you know, magazine thing, you know. We have, well, that's really nice. They gave me some window masks. Sweet. And stickers, a uh, big Proline sticker, the grill, uh, Bulldog, I'm definitely going to put those on there. So yeah. And uh, here's the actual body itself. And I think with the, yeah, and here's the wing back here. That was kind of clever of them. They actually have the wing back there for you to cut out. And I think for this body, I'm just going to try a new method. I'm going to try scoring the body with an X-Acto knife. Usually my body cuts don't turn out too well. So I'm going to try scoring it with an X-Acto knife. And once I have cut this body, I will be back. All right, so here's the body. It's uh, been all cut, and uh, I think it looks pretty darn nice. I got all the body holes in. I really like the way it looks. It looks kind of almost like a almost like a truggy, but, I mean, it's, it's a rear-wheel drive, so, I mean, it's a stadium truck, obviously. But uh, the only thing is, is that the body is kind of favoring one side. But I really love the way this body looks. As for the color... I don't have any paint right now, so this video is going to be taken over the course of a couple days, but um, I'm not really sure. I think I will just want to do a solid color, probably something simple, because um, I've screwed up a lot of bodies, and, you know, it'd probably be best to do something simple. It might just, it might turn out better than if I did something complex. So I could just do a flat color. The car doesn't really have a color scheme, but I'm thinking just lime green all around. And then I am going to use these masks they kindly provided me for the windows because I want them clear. So, yeah, uh, what else? Oh, I also did paint up the wing. just don't know what I did with it. Uh, wing wing. Ah, here it is. Okay. So, I've got some stickers on there. On there all stickered up. And I'm just going to leave the wing clear, I decided. But... When it is all painted, it should look something like that, except well, obviously there's it's gonna be color. But yeah, that's pretty much the body right now. And yeah, so I'm just gonna do a flat color. I'm thinking a lime green. Uh, actually, changed my mind. Uh, instead, uh, I think I'm gonna do lime green, like I said. But uh, I'm gonna do some stripes and stuff because I just can't resist. And eh, there goes the wing. But uh, yeah, I just masked it off. It has two racing stripes. I think. I think I got the stripes down like perfectly. You might be able to see. They they kinda they start close together, they widen out, then they come back close together. And you might see it looks darker in that spot. That's just because I put another piece of masking tape over, but it's fine. And I'm also gonna do a clear bed. It's it's a t you know, it's kind of a style I've seen in some in some other people's uh videos. Uh not uh, not just with this body, but with other bodies too. Just leave the bed part clear. So I decided I'd do that with this. So, yeah. And then I have the two stripes, like I said. And, oh, yeah, I also applied the window masks. Because I do want clear windows. Yeah. But, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And I think I'm going to do a green. With the, um, two white stripes. So... And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I'm gonna paint the inside green, and then take off the stripes and then paint it white so the white shows through where all the masking was taken off, and then it'll also make the green pop out. And then after everything's done, I'll take off the overspray and then take off this so the bed's clear. It sounds more complicated than it is, but uh, it it should turn out well. You know, hoping the rewards shall be great.
And like I said, I'm still gonna leave the wing clear and I uh, put the holes in there for the wing. But yeah, and the next step really is to paint it. And uh, so, yeah. All right, so we got the pa body painted. Uh, I think it looks okay so far. I did like a greeny yellow and then I did my stripes. So yeah, now before I take off the masking though, I have to take off the protective uh, layer that covers the body. All these bodies, uh, every every body you'll ever get from a uh, from a big manufacturer will have one of these. Uh, if it's a new, if it's a modern body like on the old uh, like uh, Tamiya's and stuff, some of them don't have this. Some of them are just white. But you'll have a little, very thin plastic coat on the top to protect it from overspray. So it should shine a little bit more once I get this that protective coat off. And as you can see, I'm just peeling it off. A ton of dust is just coming off here. It's looking good. Wow. That looks pretty awesome. Um, wow. That looks really, really good. I, there are a couple of paint drips, but other than that, it looks pretty good. So now I'm just going to take all the masking off, and then I'll be back. Gotta say, guys, I'm scared to run this body. It looks awesome. It's a little dusty now, but the stripes... And look at the bed. The clear bed came out perfectly, too. I mean, everything was pretty much perfect on this body. Oh, my gosh. It just... It, I don't think the camera really does it justice, because it's the stripes in the body are almost the same color. But now... All I have to do is get it all stickered up and put on the clear wing that I stickered up. All right, so once that's all done, the body will be done. And <clears throat> the body is done. Got it all stickered up. And I have to say, it looks pretty amazing. Uh, we have the wing in the back, which is, you know, I just, I just decided to leave it clear. It's a little bit uh, floppy, but, you know, it might give me some, some downforce in the back. I mean... You know, I mean, it's it's mainly just for looks, but I put a Proline sticker, well, the PL one, and the VXL sticker on there, and that's all I did for there. I put the headlights on there, the Proline racing there, and then on this side I have Proline, Traxxas, RPM, and then I put my uh, then I put my giant RPM sticker there, which is <laughs> it's huge on the that part and the Savox sticker. So overall. Um, I'm pretty darn happy with the way this body turned out. It's a little dusty, as you can see, which I don't really get. Um, you know, and, and the, 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 uh, the, the, to me, the paint feels kind of rough almost. I don't know. We'll see. It's, it's not 100% dry, but it's probably 90% dry. It's not, it doesn't leave anything behind. Uh, well, I'd say it's 100% dry, but let just get my angles and... I mean, this thing, it looks really awesome, considering, if we consider the last body that I painted, well, it looks really good compared to this, um, yeah. This body came out beautifully when I painted it. It was beautiful. However, I used the wrong paint. I used the tester stuff, and it, it instantly started chipping off. But it, it, it's a beautiful body, so that's too bad. And there's that one, and here is the stock one. So, this thing looks awesome. I suppose that concludes this video and the second upgrade video I've made. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. One more thing I forgot to mention was the paint I used. I used Pactra, um, uh, doesn't say. It just says, aha, Sprint White. Pactra Sprint Right. Sprint, Sprint White. The, it's non-translucent uh, stuff. Make sure you do not confuse this with Pearl White. That is translucent. And... 
this will not work. That's why the EXO looks like that. Anyway, and then I also use the Tamiya uh, uh, PS27 fluorescent yellow. Um, yeah, this stuff works well. It's just weird. It's kind of flaking a little bit, and it has a weird feel to it. But, yeah, I use those two, and that's that. Uh, those are the paints I used. <coughs> oh, sorry, I'm clearing my throat. It's stiffling so much. I just have allergies in this winter. It's kind of weird, but winter allergies, but, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, when you paint a body, yeah, so, paint it from the inside, uh, with the, with the paint, you just go in coats, maybe later I'll make a video on how to do it, but you just spray it from the inside, slowly do, I did five coats, including the stripes, so, yeah, make sure you use a paint mask, because the fumes smell pretty terrible, and they're probably not too good for you, but, yeah, um, I think that's about it for this for this upgrade video. So yeah. Thank you for watching. Comment rate and subscribe and happy new year.